Hi there, and welcome to a wonderful Saturday. Oh, wait a minute, it's Sunday. Well, I've lost track of time. And do you know what Sundays really are, are well known for? Well, if you're having a glass of champagne or a mimosa, then you know it is for having a wonderful brunch, which I've just had with my very good friend. Now, the one thing I can tell you is that if you are unhappy with your house or you just want to see how the other side lives, you're out doing what is now popular on Sunday afternoons and you're doing an open house. So I thought that I would just ask a few questions that I know are burning questions for you that you want to know, that you want to know what and how to get the best deal because isn't that what everybody's thinking right now? Everybody's thinking, how do I get the most? And, and Nobody wants to have that thing that I just talked about the other day. Buyer's remorse. Dear God, nobody wants that. But everybody does. So if you have a case of it, don't worry. You're one out of five. One, well, no, one out of two. So if 50% of you, half of you as a couple, went out, looked at something, made an offer, and go, my God, we could have paid this for that. Well, let me just tell you how to get the most for your money. So today we're going to be talking with a person that knows a thing or two about a thing or two about money. So here to show you, show me the money, it's Crystal the Closer. Hi, <laughs> Crystal. Hi, Linda, how are you? It's I'm... so wonderful to be sitting down with you finally. Finally, yes. right? <laughs> you know, Crystal, a, a lot of people are out looking for a house right now. Yes. And they are doing things like, oh, self-eliminating. You know what it sounds like. Mm -hmm. I'll never be able to afford this. Right. Oh, my credit really it sucks. Oh, I just don't have enough of a down payment. Money's too expensive. Mm -hmm. well, let's talk about a couple of those and let's mm -hmm. demystify the process of buying a house. Let's do it. All right. <laughs> if you are a first time buyer, yes. what is the very first thing you should be doing? The very first thing you should be doing is sitting down with a mortgage professional and putting together a plan of action. There are a ton of different loan programs out there. You need to find out which box you fit into. So speaking of the box that you fit into, yes. what possibly could they be thinking about? Because most people are terrified of speaking to somebody that might tell them that they could be doing X, Y, Z, one, two, three. Why don't they want to sit down and talk with you? They don't want to sit down and talk just because they're intimidated. You know what I mean? You don't know what you don't know. So it, it's unfortunate. The only way that you're going to find out is to sit down. It doesn't cost you anything. And you need to put yourself in a position where you're setting yourself up for success. You don't want to go into the market, searching for a home, talking to your realtors, and not have the confidence that you need when placing an offer that you actually have the funds and the loan approval in hand. So now what if you're just starting to look? Should you just go out and look and see how fun it is to see other people's things that they stuff in their closets or in the drawers or... <laughs> Don't you do that? I do that. I look in all the closets. I never recommend that, you know. Well, we never let the, the owner of the property know that we just did that. <laughs> um, and I never recommend um, going out with having your, without having your financing in order. You know what I mean? The worst thing a person can do is go out, fall in love, and don't have their financing, their pre-approval, their DU approval, their full underwriting approval. That's one, two, three different approvals that I just spoke about in hand. You know, that's just like starting the dating process and falling in love and saying, oh, wait a minute, he forgot to tell me one important thing. He married! <laughs> so we were talking about how to get the very best that you can when you're a millennial, whether you're um, a second time, a third time, an eighth time homeowner, you know, there are so many questions that we have today about having uh, the best deal and getting the best deal. So some of that, Crystal, you were just talking about um, being prepared and some of the things that they have to do in order to get prepared. So let's go back to what you were just talking about, which is telling us how best to be prepared to get that good loan. Right. So it's always best, you know, the saying is uh, no loan, no home, unless, of course, you buy all cash. And uh, who can afford that? Right. Especially now. Right. Um, and we don't recommend that anyway. You know, I mean, it's always better to use other people's money. But that's a, a, a topic for another day. 
OPT. <laughs> I'll get down with OPT. <laughs> um, so uh, getting prepared, you don't know that you're prepared because you don't know what you don't know. And so, with the amount of programs that come out, every single day being a broker i'm approved with over 50 lenders so i have oodles and oodles of programs and guidelines and down payment assistance um you would be surprised every county has a down payment assistance program what every single county has a down payment assistance so how do you have what do you have to do to qualify i mean are, is it a, a um, an income based some of them are income based some of them are down payment based um, I take that back, not down payment based. Income based, some of them are location based. So, so if you're, if you're in buying in a particular area, there's down payment assistance available for you there. That's awesome. Yes. All right. So um, now let's talk about that dreaded thing called Equifax, hmm. TransUnion. You know, the three. Experian. <laughs> the three necessary evils because they're looking. Why do they all report a little differently? because they have different um, algorithms that they use. Oh, we know all about algorithm now, don't we, Google? Right, <laughs> right. right, exactly. So there's different algorithms. Um, that's why your scores may differ, even though the information being reported is the same. Okay, mm -hmm. and, and haven't you noticed that? And if you haven't, I highly encourage you to go out and open yourself up one of those free trials. You know, with Experian, go to Experian.com. This is not a commercial. But I do this and I do it for a couple of different reasons. I'm not out looking for a home, but I'm always looking for more credit. And I'm always looking for things that have to do with money. Right. So so are, so are crooks and they want to know where your money is. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do is go out and open up an account and get your free three on uh, a three uh, your tri merge th credit report. Th thank you. Uh -huh. I was trying to say tri merge <laughs> and I couldn't remember the word uh -huh. uh, the tri merge reports. So you can look at things before you go out and find a loan broker. And again, how do we find you crystal crystal, the closer.com. That's easy. C R Y S T A L the closer.com. Absolutely. Absolutely. They can also reach me direct at five, six, two, six, three, seven, Six five seven seven. We're gonna make it a whole lot easier the next time we come up uh, with Crystal on. She's just gonna give you a little QR code that you can put your phone up to and go wah and go <laughs> look at her. All right. So now, Crystal, um, how when you find the right property and you haven't seen your loan broker, and why would I go to a loan broker as opposed to just going to a bank? Well, when you deal with banks or with credit unions, they have a limited amount of programs that are available. They follow Fannie, Freddie, and FHA, and that's it. There's no bank statement program. There's no 1099 program. There's no profit and loss only program. There's no no doc program. You have to be very, what we call vanilla. So what we're hearing then is that you either work for a company and you have your your statement and, and your proven track record with getting income, mm -hmm. or you're an independent contractor. You could be a real estate agent. You could be a loan broker. You could be mm -hmm. um, any kind of an independent contractor. An artist um, in, in the entertainment industry. We have plenty of those here. A don't hairstylist. We? Uh, the makeup makeup artist. artist, yeah, on and on and on. You're probably not a dog walker unless you own the business. Let's just put it out there, okay? So now that you, you've got two different categories, mm -hmm. and what are they competing with when they are out there making their first offers? What are they? What, what, what's their competition look like? Well, the competition right now is not as stiff as it was. Um, due to the increase in interest rates, or I'm going to say the correction in interest rates because we were living in um, a different type of world, a, a temporary world where we had 2% and 3%. That is not the norm. Um, that is post-COVID and that is the truth of the matter. When I started the business in 1988, interest rates were 21% and people were still buying homes. But again, that's another subject. For and you know what? Time. That hmm. brings up a really good topic, Crystal, yeah. because people go, oh, well, the money's too expensive and the houses cost too much. And I'm just going to wait until it gets better. What happens if they wait better and wait for longer and wait for more or better or lower? 
Well, property values will continue to increase. Um, so what you could buy now for 800,000 is probably going to be 850,000. So the longer you wait, the more <laughs> chance you risk of being priced out of the market. And if you would like to have a real simple little calculator, if you've been watching my videos, mm -hmm. you have the ability to get a calculator, put it, it DM me right now, right now, and mm -hmm. I will send it to you. I will send you the calculator so you can start calculating how much can I afford to pay. It has two, um, it has two things in there. One is what is the price? The second is what is the price of money? Because nobody gets money for free. Right. 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 And then, um, and then how long are you going to take to pay it off? So you could look at it for 15 years or 20 years or 30 years or even 40 years. And there are out there. It's all about cash flow. What does your cash flow look like? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's go back and let's ask a question. Now they're competing with other people that I, I know that I've seen myself, I've seen all cash offers and the all cash right. offers are, you know, they're hard to compete with and those are on terms. So terms are under what condition would you buy this property? Mm -hmm. And if you bought this property all cash, how soon could you come up with the cash and how soon could you close? And there are these things called conditions of the property. And you always want to look at those. And especially if you're getting a loan, you're going to have to do that because the bank wants to know what the hell you buying, mm -hmm. right? So now that we know that some people are out there competing, how can you better compete if you've been pre-qualified? Well, the pre-qualification, the pre-approval, uh, pre-qualification is first, the pre-approval shows the seller that you're serious, that you've done your homework, that you're ready to say, Mr. Seller, you can take your property off the market with confidence that I'm able to close according to the terms in our written agreement, i.e. purchase contract. And not only that, but the bank also knows that you're qualified. You're qualified as a serious borrower. You're qualified as a serious borrower that will pay back because you have a history of it. Right. So these things are really important. Let's talk about the all important down payment. Yes. How important is that? The down payment is, is important. Um, I want to just go ahead and put the bubble in the myth. You don't need 20% to buy a home. Wait a minute. You Wait don't minute. need 20% to purchase a home. What? Say it again. You I... don't need 20% to purchase a home. You can purchase a home with as little as 3%. That's amazing. Um, yeah. So is that only for first time buyers? Not at all. Really? Not at all. FHA is designed for first time buyers per se, but you don't have to be a first time buyer to have an FHA loan. We have 3% conventional loans. We have 5% conventional loans. What's, what's a conventional loan? A conventional loan is a loan that's sold to Fannie and sold to Freddie. So those are the federal agencies that yes. buy your loans that are guaranteed. So if, if, you went to a lender, let's say to a Wells Fargo, or to a Chase, <laughs> or to any of these major institutions. Yes, they have product these loans. So loans are called products. They have different kinds of products for different current kinds of borrowers. Correct. The better your credit, the better the products that are going to be available to Correct. you. Correct. Right. Yeah. And so they they make a loan, and then it's guaranteed by Fannie or Freddie FHA. Um, um, Fannie or Freddie. Fannie or Freddie. Okay. Mm -hmm. So those go back to, so you didn't really borrow the money from the bank. The bank facilitated the money that's available to them for, through federal funding for you to be able to get your bank. So don't feel so warm and fuzzy and cozy about that damn bank. Okay. <laughs> get the best deal for you. Absolutely. And the best way to get the best deal is to go to someone who has the most options. When there's options, there's opportunity. Here's the thing. What she just said to you is, is mm -hmm. I can't emphasize enough. Mm -hmm. If you go down to Roswell Bank or to Chase or mm -hmm. to any of these banks or go to your favorite credit union mm -hmm. and you apply for your loan, you go through all that process, you went through all the work to clean up your credit, and now they do something called a hard pull on your credit. Mm -hmm. That costs you points. Mm -hmm. That costs the score on your credit on your credit report your credit report just got hit and here's here's the wonderful news if you only had to do this once hallelujah ain't that just a grand thing but what if what if you didn't qualify you didn't fit right into those little teeny tiny parameters that the bank or the credit card the credit union set for you mm -hmm. you are sol 
-hmm. Okay? Which means that if you had gone to Crystal, the closer.com, if you'd gone to Crystal, she would have looked at it. She would have done something called a soft pull. So it doesn't cost you points on your credit. Correct. And she would have told you that here are the five things that you need to fix on your credit. This is the two things that I need you to, um, to, to explain. Here's all the things that I'm going to need in this package before I even take it out anywhere to go show it to anybody. Mm -hmm. Because she's got the most things under her fingertips. Is she worth her weight in gold? Oh, yeah. Thank and look at Crystal. Hair. The closer she is in gold. So let me just tell you, you're, this is well worth your time, well worth your effort. CrystalTheCloser.com. Thank you so much for joining us today, Crystal. I am just excited and, and more excited for all of you out there buying your first home, your second home, your investment, whatever it is, this is the right time to buy. Thanks for joining. Thank you for having me.